All right, it's time to meet this week's second chance pet. His name may be Texas, but this lovable one-year-old pit bull mix calls the Pacific Northwest home. Texas is described as an exceptionally wiggly and snuggly guy. <laughs> what a cutie. Joining us live to help us find his forever home is Sam Ellingson with the Humane Society for Southwest Washington. And Texas, we got the wiggles going. Good morning. We <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, thank you for having us. We do have the wiggles going. Texas is... Um, he is a very cuddly and sweet guy, but as you can see this morning, he's, his playtime is on full display. He has found this rabbit or the squirrel wearing Christmas pajamas and has decided it's his it's his toy of choice. Today. So he's he's been running around the room playing with that this morning. Oh my gosh, oh, he is cute. Uh, well, tell us about Texas' story. Uh, when did he come to you, and what, what's what's he like besides wiggly and fu and fun to play with? <laughs> yes, absolutely. So yes. I'm going to let him run for a minute because he's having a good time. <laughs> so Texas came to us as a stray a few weeks ago. And um, he, so we don't know much about him, of course. Uh, when they come in, we're, we're certainly not able to ask them what their story was. Um, but we're probably able to assume Texas had a family at some point. Um, even this morning when I took him out for his walk, he did seem to be fairly well house trained. And so he, he's been holding it in his kennel. And he has a really good sit. He's super duper friendly with people as well. And so it's when, when we put all of those pieces together, it's fairly safe to assume this guy had a family at some point. Now he is young, he's only about a year old. So he still has some stuff to learn about this world that he's in. One of the things that we've noticed about Texas as well is when he goes into new environments, sometimes when he's meeting new people or he hears unfamiliar sounds, he can be a little bit shy. Uh, he's also very cheese motivated, so I was able to get him to sit in front of us. I mean, oh, there you go. Cheese. I get <laughs> yeah, it. Me too. I, I understand. I understand. So, so for this guy, uh, partially because of the fact that he can be a little bit shy in new places and with new people, um, also because he is a little bit of a rowdy player, we want him to go to a home with kids over age ten, just to make sure that he's comfortable, make sure the kids are comfortable, mm -hmm. and uh, and everybody's a, a happy family. So, so that's what we really know about him. You know, with as with all of our dogs and all of our cats that come in when we don't know their story, we're really just trying to put some pieces together and find that best fit. Sure. Well, yeah, and it, it Hi, looks buddy. like he had the lean going when you were giving him some back scratches <laughs> yeah. there. So, this, those big yes. dogs uh, that think they're a lap dog. <laughs> Absolutely, and he's he's also taken a moment to um, slobber up my leg for me as well. So he's full nice service this morning when it comes to full dog. Yes. Of course. Oh, he looks so cute, though. I love yeah, the he really the tail does. His wagon, and I know we we've talked about this before, Sam. But if somebody has another dog at home, if they want to see how that would do, you guys arrange a little meet and greet uh, with the animals before before someone adopts to make sure that everyone gets along. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Whether it's another dog at home or if he's going to be the only dog in their new home, we want to make sure that they meet everybody to make sure that everybody gets along. Everybody knows what to expect when they get home. And that also gives our team a chance to talk a little bit about what Texas might need in his in his new home and what his transition to his home might might look mm -hmm. like. So that's not only with him, but with, you know, with all of our dogs. Yeah. The that other thing that sick. Texas gets yeah. The other thing that Texas is going to bring home with him is he did a little art project not too long ago. So we have these um, enrichment programs that we do. And Texas has a little painting that he made using a Ziploc bag and some peanut butter and then some paint on a canvas and smeared that around. Oh, that's so, so cute. Know, yeah, I think, do, we have, do we have a picture of that? Oh, I hope we do. I know you sent it to us. I just don't know if we have it loaded in the system. Oh, okay, we don't. Okay, we, oh, we don't shoot. have it, but um, right. we'll, well, we'll have to share it, it, we'll it on social on today. Legend. Yeah, and they can see that photo of, of Texas with his painting on our website, too, oh, if good. they go check him good. out there. Okay, good. So that's just one of the ways that we provide some enriching opportunities for dogs to, there he goes, to do something a little bit different when they're here. Because we know that walks and playtime are only going to do so much. Mm -hmm. So we want to offer some other enriching activities for what them. What a cutie. Yeah, well, he looks like a happy boy. Oh, very happy. That's mm -hmm. what's, uh, some good, some good um, uh, mojo to have around the house. It's the happy and wiggly puppers right uh -huh. there. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's All right. right. Uh, Sam, thanks so much for introducing us to uh, Texas. No doubt somebody's going to uh, snatch him up here real quick. Mm -hmm. He's, he, he's, he's a looker. So. All right. Yeah, he is. Thank all right, you all thanks, so much. Sam. We appreciate it. Of course, as always. And Bye. if you want to meet Texas or check out the other pups and pets up for adoption, again, you can always go to their website. That's hssw.org. He seems like a fun dog that you can go hiking with, too. Oh, Just yeah. love it. We'd love to get out there.